You're welcome for that guitar. I uh, was lucky enough to give a 63 Tesco guitar to Studio Baker John and the Nighthawks last night because we are doing great things for music and we were lucky to get a really rare collection of guitars given to us in February of 2012. And not to mention that, a rare guitarist, the rock guitar artist, yes. blues guitar artist. And, and a Delta label records blues guy from day one and still doing his own thing. Somebody who down. should get a Grammy. That's right. A Grammy. And uh, what I like about Studebaker John is that he's a very independent person and he likes his own creative uh, control. And I'm a rebel. I don't like being controlled. Right. And I want to do my own thing and I'm going to do it here in Calgary and I'm going to be lucky enough to have him come out and we'll fly him out here and we'll put him up and we'll do a wicked show of unheard of go against the flow creative artists and we'll raise uh, some funds for children and uh, we'll have a rare guitar collection and we'll do kind of a guitarology one-on-one thing where we can give these wicked guitars and get them on stage and have some great artists talk about who made them famous and play them. That sounds great. Live here in Calgary, Alberta, up and coming. That sounds great. Yeah. Right? I do. Yeah. And Tell I, us a little bit about what you think of this thing here, maybe Calgary, the Blues Can. What are you thinking about your buddies Joe D and Bob? Tell us some things. Well, hey, you know, I mean, uh, it's a good night, it's a good day, and uh, we're, we're going to have some fun, basically. Uh, you know, the guys uh, are having a good time playing some music. It's a nice sunny afternoon, and we're all ready to have some fun tonight. That is it. You guys are playing tonight at the Blues Can. Tonight at the Blues Can. Yes, and you know what they say? Yeah. I'm stealing this from Mel Waiters. Go ahead. The smaller the club, the bigger the party. Yeah. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah. When you haven't got any room to move around, and the guitar player's feeling the bark off the fretboard, and that's what I love. It's, it's 12 frets, it's a pentatonic scales, and a wicked killer guitar player. Blues is made for small clothes. Tell us made. about your CD, Studebaker Old John. School racket. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a fun, it's a fun thing, really. Uh, we did it with the people in mind, you know. Uh, the people, I've played festivals, I've played clubs. I've been playing roots music and blues since the 60s. And I've always made records that I thought were artistically correct for the time and period that I was making them. And I wanted to do a one record for the people, just for the people. For the people, for the fans. For the fans that go to the festivals, go to the clubs, pay the and bar patronize tab. the music. Support right? the artists and pay the because cover Because it's charge. not always just about the artist. That's I mean, right. a lot of times it's about the people, too. I mean, you, you wouldn't be able to do anything without the people. Right? That's right. Because yeah. you couldn't get paid, so you wouldn't have no money. Well, the big heart you have, both of you, but no, you it's appreciated by the people. Keep I, going. I still try to, you know, I still try to be artistic about it. I didn't just say, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and do any kind of, you know, uh, uh, any kind of stuff that sounds like rock and roll. It comes through in the music. Right. We showed, we showed, what we tried to show was the correlation between the early Mississippi blues yeah. and the rock and roll music of the late 60s and early 70s because there's a lot of different influences on there. I, one guy reviewed it and he said, well, it sounds all like ZZ Top. Well, there is some influences of ZZ Top in there. You got Bo but, Diddley in there. But you got Bo Diddley in there. You got Chuck Berry in there. You got Led Zeppelin in there. You got the Rolling Stones in there. You got, you know, you name it. It's, it's all in there, you know, and all of those influences combined make up what, what I tried to do with that record. Cultural transmission, Peter where Green you are and taking Eric it. Clapton too. I'm not putting them out. Yeah. But also, you're gonna get Fred McDowell. You're gonna get Hound Dog Taylor. Right on. You're gonna get J. B. Huddle. Yeah. All of that Walker. stuff. Lazy Lester. That's right. Hey, Lazy Lester and me toured England. How yeah. could I not be influenced by Lazy Lester? Absolutely. And one, there you go. One thing I found interesting last night, towards the last uh, few songs that Studebaker was playing, when he said. Come back tomorrow night and bring a couple hundred of your friends. It's the friends, it's the people, the people who pay the cover charge, the people who buy the beers, the right. people who buy the CDs and the T-shirts. Those are, those are the reasons why we play. Those are the reasons why we're doing what we do. At this stage in the ball game, you have to give it back to the people. That's the, the reality. Going. That's the reality. 
the reality is uh, this CD that uh, Sue Baker John just did is, is an appreciative, creative endeavor of freedom of choice for the people embracing and encapsulating all of the genres of music that have influenced his life. And I'm happy I met him, and I know he's going to be playing this guitar tonight at the Blues Can, Calgary, Alberta. At the Blues Can. Def definitely. Deadly. Class of home, class My blues. Thank, thank you, Studebaker John and J.R. Fleet. Boys, really appreciate that. Thank you very much.